what's up guys welcome back to another video in Philly we're in Philly oh god it sucks to be back in Philly <laughs> no I love Philly but it sucks to be, not be on a beach anymore I'm just trying to catch up because I took a, a week off and didn't prepare myself and so I'm just trying to do a bunch of catch up now I had to build a couple websites and now what we're just now we're here now we're here we're just back in Philly how are you guys doing Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how life is treating you. And uh, do you have anything new and exciting happening going on? Because we need some new excitement in our lives. Today is like 70 degrees, or going to be. It's like 50 something right now. So I might go take the booster board out later. Oh, my wheel! I didn't tell them about my... Oh, so if you've been following us on Instagram, which you should, here, I'll leave the link right here. Follow us on Instagram because we do Instagram stories and stuff which is like kind of in between the vlogs. So you get like a little bit of vlogging in between vlogging. In fact, I think I'll do an Instagram story oh, you vlogging Instagramming right now. Instagramming right now. See, you'd be able to be on the on the cusp of all this crazy news. Yeah, that's exciting <laughs> content. Our exciting lives. Um, but yeah, so I, I had this like art project with the front rim of my bicycle. So I'll link, uh, link. I'll show you guys right here. Uh, hey, get out of here. <laughs> Jesus, it's so loud outside tonight. It's because it's warm, so everyone is out, like, just doing shit. The other day, the city was crazy. It was like walking around in Times Square. It was so busy. So, uh, so my little uh, idea, my little project that I had that I couldn't do the other day because the art store didn't have the supplies that I needed. Get down to this punk sound. This is pretty big. I did not expect that. I don't think they're gonna have it here. I'm gonna have to order it from Amazon. I got my supplies. They came in the mail. Um, this is some of it right here. Here's something else that I needed. And my table is over here. I think like what, a year ago? I gotta look at the post and see when I shared it. But I found this post online. I follow a lot of like bike groups because I'm an avid cyclist. Somebody posted one of their rims and they put, they did this like cool custom design on it, like this camo design. And it looked really, really cool. So I want to do the same exact thing with mine, obviously a little bit different, but uh, I think it'll look really cool because my bike is all black and the frame is a matte black and the fork is carbon fiber so that's matte black as well and then this is the uh the front my arrow spoke rim i got uh white and gray and then the black will just be the pattern that just comes out um and i'm gonna pull off uh, the arrow spoke logo and i think it should look pretty cool i hope i think we'll see i don't know i'm not good with craft projects so i might screw this all up We gotta take the wheel off. So the first thing you need to do is get alcohol wipes, alcohol pads, something, or just rub, you know, just rubbing alcohol on a towel and clean the outside of the rim and just get like everything nice and clean, get all the dust off so that you can put the vinyl on without it coming off. The adhesive needs to stick to something clean. So I got the neutral pack, which is gray, black, and white and then this brown, so we're gonna use the brown to like test some cuts and see how it's gonna work. Um, and take it from there. Almost done with one side, this sucks. How long did this take? I don't know, two, like two hours? Yeah. I've been doing this one side for two hours. I think I got a groove, I think I know what I need to do for the other side now, so we'll see. This is what's left of the mess. And this is the finished product. What do you think? I think it looks pretty good. I gotta get used to it. That was a hell of a lot of work. So I'm gonna have to just let it grow on me and see if I like it. And hopefully it doesn't peel off. You like it? I really like it. I think it's cool. No! Oh, shit. oh man. Did the whole thing break? 
Yeah. I just dropped my juice, like literally walking out the door and it cracked and broke. All right guys, I wanna know your thoughts on the whole, you know the square card readers that people have in their in their businesses and they, you know, you slide your card and you sign the thing and they have the leave a tip section. All these places have that and I feel almost obligated to leave a tip even though I'm just getting a juice or I'm just getting out of a fridge. He's picking a yeah. juice out of a fridge and paying for it. You don't need to tip. And I so I, I, I tip like I feel like every time I go and do that I tip no matter where I am. I, I end up doing that. What do you guys think about that? Because I feel obligated when I see that pop up and it's like 5%, 10%, 20% or no tip. And I feel like a dick when I hit no <laughs> tip. Even though I know I'm not obligated to do so, I feel obligated and I feel like pretty shitty if I don't do it. Even though they may not deserve it. So it's very, uh, I don't know, it's very weird. Because the fact of the matter is, this $9.67 juice turned into $11.67 juice, so. I just cleaned this lens and now there's juice particles all over it. Oh man, now there's smear marks. But anyway, what are, you, what are your thoughts on that? Let me know down below if you believe in that whole, I, trust me, I'm all about tipping, but tipping when you should tip, I guess. Look at, they're taking down the uh, winter exhibit. They had like a garden exhibit here. I took you guys here during one vlog and a bunch, a bunch of Instagram stories. But yeah, it looks like they're getting rid of it for the summer. This is the ice rink that they're melting away. They're spraying hot water on it. That's so cool. Look how heaters, thick it is. Right, are those heaters? Yeah, they got heaters underneath it. The thing was thick. Get it. That's it, right there, this tiny little thing in this huge box. Way to go, DJI. And it was also like two and a half months before I received this in the mail. Okay, we just got home. Stacia put chicken in the oven for dinner, but I can't wait that long. So we're going to snag some pizza from down the road. Pizza, pizza. I haven't had pizza in, since Puerto Rico. Oh yeah, we got Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. That wasn't that good. Question for you guys. What do you think of uh, the slow-mo clips that I've been using? Um, I kinda like that style. I like the edit. It's much more fun to edit that way and it just gives a more smooth feel to the video. Let me know down below what you think. Pizza, pizza, pizza. We're calling it quits for the night. We're back at home, chilling. Station's actually getting uh, some work done. Look at you being the little laptop girl. And I'm working on this edit right now. Thanks for joining us. I know this was like a dull vlog compared to our travel videos that we've been putting out. But soon, we'll be going on a vacation and I want you guys to let us know where you think we should go. So leave a comment down below. Where do you think we should go? Bali. No. I like Bali too, but Bahamas probably. I don't even have my passport. <laughs> Ever. He's so, never once had a passport in his life. I've never had a passport. So I need to get a passport. And then we'll be able to go travel wherever. So thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. Leave a thumbs up down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and we'll see you guys in the next video. See you! So this is about to happen. I wanted a milkshake, so I got Snickers to make sort of like a Dairy Queen blizzard. And then I really wanted a root beer float, so I got some vanilla ice cream root beer. And Stacia's just gonna be a wine out for the rest of the night.